Hello, Pisces. We are going to see what's going on with your person today. Uh, check into the energy around your connection, your love life, relationship, marriage, whichever uh, category that you fall in. Uh, this is a second channel I decided to create to really just focus on the energy of Pisces only. Um, will it always be just love? Probably not. Eventually, I'm going to open it up and probably start talking about different things. But I kind of like the flow of just love right now. Okay. So we have the King of Chalices, the Nine of Chalices. This is good. I like this. Ooh, two nines. So you might be seeing like, um, so the numbers I usually see within the realms of nine, I have seen nine, nine, nine. I've seen that on somebody's license plate and I was like kind of blown away because I was like, what? Um, so I see, I saw that that one time, but I mostly see nine, one, nine. I see that a lot actually. <laughs> or, um, 1919 or, Sometimes I even see nine two nine, not that much, but more more so it's like nine one nine in nineteen nineteen. So some of you guys may want to like look that up on these people's internet to see what that could mean for love or your situation, or we could just you know kind of stick within the realms of this reading. So I feel like there's something about a lantern, right? Or it could be light. Uh, I feel like the you, your person's senses are over they're overwhelmed with senses right now. Um, I feel like maybe they're in this energy of a little too much hesitation. Um, and I say that because the nine of chalices is, honestly, it's a very overwhelming energy in my opinion. Like, just think, like if you, you know, you have been wishing a, upon a star and you're like, okay, this is what emotionally fulfills me. Like, this is what brings me all this joy and aspirations. Really just kind of like flooding at you. So I do feel like they're in this energy right now of there's something that they're wishing for. There's a lot of things that they're wishing for to come true. Um, now here, seeing the King of Hearts, I do see that this person has the energy of like a family man, someone very protective, paternal, affection, and generous. Now, kind of like the shadowy energies of the King of King of Chalices, King of Hearts, is that maybe they are have been moody, right? Maybe it's just like uh, they're dealing with some type of creativity blocks. It could be that. Um, they want to surprise you. I feel like there's something that they definitely want to surprise you with. Uh, Pisces kicking off this next uh, 48 hours. But with the Ten of Wands, I will say that maybe they're not able to kind of like surprise you in the way that they think or the way that they thought they would be able to because of this Ten of Wands. Now, there's so many different meanings on the Ten of Wands. I would say my most favorite is unexpected money and travel. Okay, this definitely feels like settlement money, or this could be like increase in income and savings, or this could be, you know, entrepreneur money, career money, fast, which is money. Okay, <laughs> that's my favorite meaning. My least favorite meaning of the Ten of Wands is that your person is burdened by something. Now, this could be you. This could be you too. This could be both of you guys. Because essentially, you see in this card, like he's holding her up, right? So I feel like there there are some responsibilities that's weighing them down. This could be a project. This could be a certain life stage that your person is going through. Especially if you guys are different ages, different cultures, different backgrounds, different families. I feel the energy like a lot of differences here, Pisces. So I feel like this next twenty four to forty eight hours, like expect these burdens to be lifted and when they aren't right because it's i don't know it feels something very dreamy about a weird what movie is that oh now i'm getting in my disney princess y'all <laughs> wait no a dream oh cinderella oh that's specific okay a dream is a wish your heart makes um and look i shuffled in the nine of pinnacles was still in here anyway uh, could be that there's some distance that's, you know, just really not um, fancying your person right now. Yes, I said fancying and I feel so, I feel so luxurious saying that, <laughs> okay? I do feel like this is an energy that your person is very content with you in this relationship or content with you being in their life, but I, I didn't bring one of my or my love oracle decks over here, which is kind of silly, but no, it's not because I have my computer here, you guys. So I'm gonna I'm gonna give y'all a little preview of something that I'm still putting together, pull some messages from there. Um, there is some energy here of hard work. So, you know, I'll be the ones to be admitted, okay, on these people's internet. Love is hard work, relationships are hard work. The relationship that you have with thine self is hard work. I don't feel like they feel that you are hard work, like there's something hard 
uh, like work about you. However, I do see there is this very strong attraction and they want something from you, Pisces. But then also at the same time, I kind of feel like there's a lot of people that want something from you. So maybe some of you guys, you know, you're in your femme fatale era. Like maybe you're just, you know, you're, I don't know. It just really feels like you're getting good energies this next 24 to 48 hours. It could be, you know, maybe you're like tapping into, oh, siren. Oh, that's what my spirit team was saying earlier when I was out. Um, siren energy. Okay. So this, that could be significant, that that could not be significant, but looking at the three of wands, three of clubs here in terms of, I do see that there is financial growth, yes. I feel like there's growth in the spiritual or telepathic connection between you and this person. This next 24 hours, yes. And I feel like it does not end there, but it is there. <laughs> I feel like maybe sometimes you feel that you're like an inch away from like the promise of wedding bells in the future. Uh, I just have to say this, y'all, because um, it's pocket something. So there, I guess there's this app where they have like these romance stories. I was scrolling on TikTok, y'all, and I started watching this. I didn't even, I forgot I was on TikTok. It was like this just very just drama show. And I just was like, child. <laughs> was so Okay, y'all. I gotta tell y'all. So like, okay, so I guess the girl showed up at the, the chapel to win child. She thought she was gonna marry her boss. This was so messy. She thought she was gonna marry her boss. And the, the boss didn't come because he was tending to like one of the other girls that he ended up having a relationship and being pr pregnant with. And then she married this billionaire like he his fiance didn't show either. So both of them got like duped at the altar and then they married each other. I just I was sitting here like, why am I watching this? Like, I know I'm gonna be able to watch the entire thing. So I don't know. It's something about. um, And I've said this before when I used to talk about love very consistently over on my other channel, you guys, some of us grew up in that Disney princess type love, or maybe that's significant. Maybe this is like a Disney romance, or there's something just very mystical, very loving and mar merry. Okay, maybe Mary significant here. Very magical about your connection with this person. I don't see that this is a connection that many people would understand. I almost feel the need to tell you, Pisces, that I feel like this connection has been under siege or under fire for quite some time. And I say that because that's just the message that I'm picking up from the Ten of Wands. Because, you know, I can sit up here and say, oh, responsibilities and burdens and all this stuff. But it's like, what responsibilities? Like, what burdens? Jupiter and Pisces, maybe you have that or your boo has that. Jupiter in the 12th house. Um, this could even be Jupiter in Virgo, Jupiter in the sixth house. I just see there's a lot of celebration and sensual pleasure that is um, being summoned for this relationship. Maybe some of you guys are summoners. Oh, maybe um, shadow and bone. The relationship between those, the, 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 I could honestly call them both the main characters in Shadow and Bone. I think that's what it's called on Netflix, maybe significant here. Okay. So I feel like, um, I also feel like there's something about y'all's waist, like losing weight, solar plexus. I feel like somebody's dropping like 50 pounds overnight, like through sound. Y'all know that's the thing. Like, <clears throat> shout out to Quadable Integrity here on YouTube. They have a um, chakra playlist that I listened to one night. Well, actually, I started listening to it and I fell asleep. Let me be honest. <laughs> I fell asleep. Baby, when I woke up the next morning, I had to listen to the mirror and I said, girl. Uh, but I, I turned to the side and y'all I didn't have a, you know, I had it for kids. Okay. I'm going to turn to the side and I'm like, hold up. <laughs> Looking a little good. So maybe y'all balancing y'all chakras. 909. That's the other one that I see. Thank you guys. 911. Now there may be some emergency situations, emergency love spells that you're needing to invoke. Go ahead and do my honest encouragement to you guys. Love magic is the most intuitive thing that you could ever do, even more intuitive than money magic. Because I feel like you, both of you guys have this energy to really work hard to manifest your de desi desire. What? Desires? <laughs> um, I feel like the two of you guys really have this confidence and this generosity to others. But for some reason, I just feel like it's missing um, from the two of you guys, if that makes sense. Like, I'm not saying that y'all ain't confident, but I just kind of feel like 
for some reason, maybe the both of you guys really haven't been feeling that confident in just your individual lives, like individual pursuits. I did see the King of uh, Pentacles before I started shuffling. I really just, I, I don't know. I guess I decided in that moment that that wasn't an energy that I wanted to invite into this reading. And, and I feel like I have the power to do that and you have the power to do that. So it could be some things that has been happening in your universe and your love universe, Pisces, that you and your boo really just don't need to invite in. Um, seeing the seven of pentacles and the three of swords, it looks like not inviting in any third party situations. Ooh, oh, this is a new channel. So I'm probably going to be hearing like the craziest of things. Oh, okay. Maybe, uh... Either somebody's trying to get you in a threesome, Pisces, or maybe the people there's people around your person and you that are embarking in threesomes because I heard very clearly like not inviting somebody else into the bathroom. Okay, so not someone could be doing some type of not magic, or maybe you're doing some type of not magic. Maybe you're tying yourself to this person, or maybe you're decide you're learning how to give your energy to your partner. Maybe how you give your energy to your partner is in a magical way, especially since I was saying like love spells. Um, but I feel like there are loves of the past and loves of the future that you and this person are absolutely finding that cause some type of neglectful wound in how you guys move around, how you guys manifest, how you guys connect with each other. Definitely how you communicate. Um, the Six of Diamonds, I will say, is a communication card. It is a communication piece in love. Maybe you feel like this person is, uh, well, it came out after... Okay, maybe there's, there's a third party interference that's causing this person to um, hold back or to withdraw. Um, it could be that there's some type of nervousness that this person feels with you. It, it's something about your energy that so you you may be one of those people that's like like um, you might have water and water, so you might have. Uh, um, hold on, y'all. <laughs> Drawing a blank. There we go. You might have cancer in the 12th house or Scorpio in the 12th house. Scorpio in the 12th Baby, the type of lover you are. Okay. You might have Scorpio in the 12th house or you might... Are there people on this planet with Pisces in the 12th house? Oh my gosh. You probably are tired of coming back. I can see someone that has Pisces in the 12th house is like, you're just... Oh, ooh. Y'all know in Twilight... At the last Twilight movie, the um the one vampire dude from the Volturi, the one that he looked visibly older, right, than um Aro and all the other ones. And remember in like the foreshadowing thing that Alice was having, I really hope some of y'all here have seen Twilight. The reason I'm going off on this tangent, if not, then definitely go check it out. I he in in Alice's foreshadowing moment. He was standing there like with his art, like he knew that they was coming to um tear him in half. And he was standing there like, finally, like that's what this energy feels like. Even if you don't have Pisces in the 12th house, there's something about your energy, Pisces, maybe like what you're supposed to do for the planet to help raise humanity. I don't know, y'all, humanity looking a little lost lately. I've particularly been focusing on this, the animal spirits, but there's something about your energy that's supposed to like, Raise the consciousness in this person. Raise consciousness in yourself. Maybe you guys have just been dealing with jealousy and possessiveness. You know, sometimes possessiveness does not always come out in a healthy way, especially if there are people that are jealous of you and your person. Because it's almost like this person has no issue, like, chasing you, like, being possessive of you, like, loving you. Like, look, just honestly looking at the cards here, right? So looking at the images, one, two, three, four, five, five out of seven. They're in, they're in close proximity to each other. They're in each other's energy bubble. Here in the Six of Pentacles, you know, he kind of looked like he he did something. He he messed up. He he messed up. And looking at the fact that it's re representing some type of stubbornness or lack of communication, it's almost like what is that apple? It's almost as like she's you know trying to feed on something to. Well, I don't know what apples represent in witchcraft. I guess I could look it up if I wanted to. Anywho, I'm not going to do that. I don't really have a positive interpretation of apples, at least what's been happening in my pot, in my, in my, um, 
in my universe lately. So, but I, we see her here since this apple. She got this corset on. It's a little too small, but that's okay. Um, <laughs> and it's on, you know, she visibly just looks like she's crying. She looks like she's saddened by something. And then here, you know, we got a little sneaky old um, Ursula in the back. Why? And look, I rarely, I have never noticed in this card, you guys, all the candles are black. So it's almost like he's serenading her, right? Trying to, you know, he has his hand on her, trying to make her feel secure um, because he knows they need protection. So maybe your person knows that um, this third party interference is causing drama, or maybe this person knows that um, maybe there's something about your energy that's protecting them in this third party situation. I don't look at third parties always as cheating. At least over my main channel, I get entirely too many visuals of people in corporate offices. This could be a third party in their work friend group, family group, whichever. But this next 